Now children, we have the next pattern of questions which will focus on my place value and face value. So if you remember, I told you earlier that face value is the value of the digit which it actually carries. For example, if I give the number as 3, 0, 1, my face value of 3 will remain the same. It will remain as the face value will remain as 3. It will not change. Whereas my place value will be hundreds because it is H, T, O and 3 comes in the column of H. Okay. So based on this pattern, I am going to give you few questions. Okay. Are you all ready to solve the questions along with me? Here it goes. So my first question says, what is the place value is the place value and face value of the number 4, 3, 5. Okay. So, the number 4 is being underlined. You have to tell me the place value of 4 in the number 4, 3, 5. Okay. And my options are, option A, it will be 40 and 4. Option B, it will be 4 and 4. Option C, it will be 400 and 4. And option D, it will be none of these. Okay. As I told you earlier, the number 435, if you write it as H-T-O and we divide it in the column of H-T-O, 4 is in the hundreds column. Okay. So, my place value will be 400. Okay. And as I told you, the face value of the number will not change and, will it, and it will remain as it is. So, if it is being asked 4, it will remain 4. If it is asked for 3, it will remain 3. If it is asked for 5, it will remain 5. So, the face value will be exactly the number which we have to find. So, in this case, it is being asked as 4. So, my face value will be 4. So, can we see this option here? So, this is option number C. So, my answer will be option C where my face place value is 400 and my face value is 4. Is it clear children? Shall we do with one more example? Okay. So, here is my next question. My next question says, what is the place value and the face value of 4 in the number 124. Okay. So, you need to find the face value and the place value of digit 4 in the number 124. Okay. And my options are it's 40 and 4. My option B is 4 and 4. My option C is 400 and 4. And my option is none of these. Okay. So, what is the first step? We need to segregate it in the column HTO and we will write the number in their respective column. What is the digit which we have to find out? It is number 4. And where it is being seated? It is under 1s. So, which means my place value will be 4. And what about the face value? So, as I said, face value will remain the same. So, my answer should be 4 and 4. So, where can you see that option? Good. It is option B. So, my answer is place value is 4 and the face value is also 4. Are you clear? Shall we do the next sum? Okay. So, here is my next question. 
My next question says, what is the place value and the face value of 1 in the number 712. Okay. So, this is the number which we have to find out. So, what is the first step? Okay. Before that, I need to give you the options, right? So, my options are 100, 1. My next option is 1, 1. My third option is 10, 1. And my fourth option is all of these. Okay. So, how will you solve them? Very good. First, write H, T, O and write the numbers in their respective column. So, what is the number which we have to find out here? Good. It is number 1. And where is it seated? It is seated under the tens column. So, what is the value of 1? Yes, it is 10. And what is the face value? It will remain the same, which is 1. So, my answer should be 10 and 1. Where can you see the option here? Very good. You are grasping it quickly. So, option C is my right answer. So, is it easy children to solve these type of questions? Shall we go for a few more sums? Okay, here is your next sum. My next sum says, what is the place value and place value of 1 in the number 186. Okay. So, here what is the number which you have to find? You need to find the place value and face value of the number 1 in 186. Okay. And my options here are 100, 1. Option B, 1, 1. Option C, 10, 1. And option D, all of these. So, what is my first step? Good. You will segregate in H2O column. Write the number 186. And what is the number which we have to find out? It's 1. So, where is 1 seated? It is seated under the hundreds column. So, what is the place value of 1? Good. It is 100. And what is the face value? It remains the same, right? So, my answer should be? 101. And where can you see that option? Yes, it is option A. So, my answer for this question is place value will be 100 and my face value will be 1. Clear? Shall we do the last question of this pattern? Okay. So, here come my next question. You need to tell me the place value and the face value For the number 0, okay, in the number 303, did you understand the question? You have to tell me the place value and face value of the number 0 in the number 303 and my options are 0 and 0. The next option is 0 tens and 0. My third option is 0 hundreds and 0. And my fourth option is none of these. Okay, so what is the first step? H T O 3 0 3. And what is the number which we have to find out? It is 0. 
So, where is it seated? It is seated under the tens column. So, what will be the answer? Will it be 0 and 0? No, because 0 denotes 0 ones, right? So, option A is not the right answer. Where is it seated? Under tens column. So, it should be 0 tens and the face value will be 0. So, where can you see that option here? Good, it is option number B. So, my answer will be 0 tens and the face value will remain 0. So, was it interesting children, this place value and face value concept? I am sure you would have enjoyed the solving of the math sums.